So, Krishna Thira, there, former UPA minister, senior cabinet minister of the Congress government, and a prominent Delhi face for the Congress, surprising everyone by joining the BJP. NETV's Rahul Shivasav joins us for more on that. Rahul, uh, Krishna Thira, totally taking uh, uh, the Congress camp by surprise. Sunitra, yes, uh, definitely this move will come as a surprise and a political setback for the Congress. Because if you look at the BJP and the Congress camps at this moment, somewhere the Congress is trying to claw its way back because it knows that somewhere uh, over the last one year, uh, the Congress has lost a lot of ground to the Aam Aadmi Party. And that is why if you see the press conference by Mr. Ajay Makin, it was targeted bitterly against Mr. Arvind Kejral, talking about his U-turns and other thing, elements. The fact remains that uh, BJP open arms, with open arms is welcoming people from the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress Party now with Krishna Thira joining. And somebody who has been a member of parliament and, as you said, a cabinet minister, somewhere the BJP is trying to signal through this that in this battle against the Aam Aadmi Party, it is becoming a more attractive political destination than uh, the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress is a uh, clear loser. And that is why this series of uh, moves to the BJP, first Kiran Bedi joining uh, politics and then joining the BJP, then Shazia Ilmi, and a string of lower-rung uh, leaders as far as the Madhmi Party coming to the BJP, and now Krishna Thirat. The BJP at one level is, uh, is promoting this because it knows that at certain level, uh, the uh, Aam Aadmi Party does enjoy a support which will be difficult to beat. Given the fact that also Krishna Thirat has a considerable support in certain sections of the society and voters, this will definitely help the BJP in, in breaching certain uh, vote segments, which it was not really hopeful to. What we can say that this maneuver uh, by Krishna Thirat and the BJP definitely is a big setback for the Congress, which is, which is beleaguered and is trying to claw back as far as Delhi politics is concerned.